All right, welcome to the second video on function notation. That's outcome R8. In the first video, we worked forwards, and now we're going to work backwards. Yes, another exclamation point or two. Okay, so f of x equals 3x minus 4. That says that we take an x value, input into f, and what we do with it is we multiply it by 3 and then subtract 4. So, for example, we can find f of, of 2. We've seen this before. That just means replace x with 2. So it gives us 3 times 2 minus 4, which is 6 minus 4, which is 2. And so we say f of 2 is 2. Now we want to work backwards. We want to find some mystery x value if f of x is 17. In other words, I inputted some mystery value of x into f, and I got 17. Well, let's see how we can do this. We know that f of x is equal to 3x minus 4. If f of x is replaced by 17, we get this. In other words, I had some unknown value of x inputted into f of x, and the result was 17. Well, this is just simple algebra from here. We'll add 4 to both sides. That gives us 21 equals 3x. Divide by 3, and it gives us x equals 7. Okay, let's check this. f of 7. Well, what is f of 7? f of 7 is 3 times 7 minus 4, which is 21 minus 4, which is 17. It worked. Awesome. Okay, try this problem out yourself. So go ahead and pause now. Okay, welcome back. We are trying to find this mystery value of x given that f of x is 15. So f of x is 5 minus x. We had a value of 15 from some mystery value of x. So it's just a matter of solving for x now. I'll subtract 15 from both sides. That gives me 10 equals negative x. I'll multiply by negative 1, and that gives me negative 10 equals x. In other words, f of negative 10 should be 15. And you can go ahead and check that on your own. Okay, try the next one. This time I'm using g of x instead of f of x, but that's just the same thing. g is a function that depends on x, and for some mystery value of x, we get negative 7. Go ahead and pause now and give it a try. Go. Okay, welcome back. g of x is equal to 3x plus 8, and we know that the resulting value is negative 7 from some mystery value of x. So we can solve from here. I'll subtract 8 from both sides. That gives me negative 15 equals 3x. Divide by 3, it gives me x equals negative 5. Okay, last one. Why don't you give this a try? We know that f of x is 17x plus 5, and we know that inputting some mysterious value of x into f, we get 39. What was that value? Go ahead and pause now. Okay, welcome back. f of x is 17x plus 5. And we get 39 when we input some unknown mystery value of x into our function. Okay, so we can figure that out real fast. Subtract 5 from both sides gives us 34 equals 17x. And divided by 17, we get that x is 2.